Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. So here we are on the brink of a new, um, a whole new election time period. And we're looking at the leaders that could bring us to a destiny that we all so need to have a better life quality. And um, I was really, really moved this week by Joe Biden, actually. And my dream ticket has changed to actually um, Elizabeth Warren with Joe Biden. Oh my goodness. And I'm thinking about what if actually Joe Biden was the uh, president and Elizabeth Warren was the VP and that would give her freedom to do her amazing feminine thing of tons of time to do all of her plans, get, get more like her um, consumer protection bureau she created. She'd be able to create tons and tons of amazing programs. Joe Biden could be like the masculine container, being the containment for her and um, supporting her work, you know, and then she could be informing him <laughs> Um, with in the ways that she does that what will make his plans work you know what I love about Joe Biden is when you think about the divine feminine a champion of the divine feminine it's interesting because he embodies feminine energy he's the he was a, when his first wife died he took care of his kids by coming home um, from his, I think he was in the Senate at the time, on the train like three hours every night to get home to his kids. He was both mom and dad. He's gone through the death of his son and he's deepened his soul. I, I was just struck by his kindness, sweetness, compassion, and his subtlety on complex issues. I, I watched a whole hour of him um, speaking with people in Minnesota, I think it was. My goodness, the man has the embodiment of feminine energy, whereas you could say that Elizabeth Warren is actually embodying a kind of a fiery masculinity as a warrioress, <laughs> and the two of them would make a really great polarity. <laughs> um, so when you think of championing the feminine, it's also really important to think about who a man is, or anyone is, who they show they are in the beginning, so the reason that Bernie has fallen off for me is basically I watched um, baby anti Prezi dump. <laughs> I don't even like to say his name. I watched him say that he uh, was proud of molesting women in the beginning of his campaign. Grab him by the pussy, he said, <laughs> you know, and he was proud of it. And this was exactly who he was throughout his presidency. Somebody who's proud of shameful things and made them very public. So the thing about Bernie is he really shamed, he really undermined Hillary Clinton. And if he hadn't have done that, I mean, she won by 3 million votes. And if he had been in support with her, he could have brought all of his people over to her and she probably would have won. Um, and now he's doing something similar to Elizabeth Warren, where he tells her in private, you know, a woman can't win, which is of course not true because we see all these women winning all over the place. Um, an African-American man has won and Hillary already won by 3 million votes of the popular vote. So that's not true, but he undermines Elizabeth Warren and then Elizabeth Warren is shaky from that and she talks about it. And then he says, oh, I never said that. And he, and he says that on national TV, making her look like a fool. So now he has undermined her and, and broken her trust, which means they can't be a ticket anymore. And that's the kind of president he would be, see, to the feminine. Like the, he would be such a bulldog in terms of a bully, do it my way or the highway or no other way, that he would not be able to get anything done. It's only the champions of the feminine that actually are effective. So the thing about Biden that's really striking me is his incredible ability to talk to everybody. And there's this elevator moment where this beautiful uh, young woman in an elevator, this is African-American woman who's his one of his constituencies, and she's just like, I love you. I just want to say, oh, wow, you're, you are my candidate and his spontaneous response it's so beautiful it's almost kind of 
sexy. It's kind of erotic. He's like, hey, you got a camera? You got a phone on you? Let's go out. To, let's go out the elevator. You know, and immediately he's thinking of her instead of he's on his way in that moment to see if he can if he's getting the endorsement from the New York Times. The New York Times does not endorse him. He, they endorse both Hillary Clinton and um, Amy as their endorsement. But in that moment, instead of being in a hurry to get up to the office and oh, I'm busy now. He wants to take that moment with this beautiful woman and get a picture. And it's so pure. It's such a beautiful moment. It's on the internet, Biden's elevator moment or something. It's actually, it's gone rampant. Like everybody's got to see it because it's just so joyful and pure. It's just right from the heart. So here you have the, the, the paradox that the masculine is actually embodying feminine. He's embodying subtlety. He's embodying the wisdom to get out, to make the war stop. Um, that's one of the main things he's about. He's, um, he's dealing with many deep complexities rather than coming up with fast, quick solutions. This is all feminine energy. We have like this deep, complex situation with our families and every kid's need and all the food that has to be done and all the house cleaning and all the adventures and all the, the calendars, everything all at once, plus our careers. It's complex. <laughs> the the masculine in us wants to have a target and hit it and just go straight. Just just straight. No circles. <laughs> but we know that if you take a family vacation and you try to go straight and you tell everybody, no ice cream. No, we're not stopping at the rock shop. No, honey, you can't look at those clothes. We're, we want to get there to the beach. Everyone will be so miserable uh, by the time you get to the beach. No one will want to play with daddy. You know, daddy will have sabotaged the joy. Because the feminine thing about going in a circle that's more complex, including everybody, creates joy immediately. And what happens is you're already there. You are already there the moment you get in the car because you're already, you slowed down enough that your daughter was able to grab her favorite book. She didn't forget it. And your, your son was able to get this game. He wants to play with dad at the beach, you know, but when you were hurrying, you aren't, we're going to get there. Let's come on, get in the car. Nobody can get that magic going. And by the time you get there, nobody has anything to give anybody. <laughs> and, and so you have your, your, um, your masculine is like, but I got everybody there sooner. I, I kept us on track. And it's true that we want to have enough of that to get to the beach eventually before it's dark and to make sure the boat gets in the water if it's a boat trip <laughs> and that you called the dock to get reservations, you know, that's our, our linear masculine. But when the feminine is in the reins, when she's in control, and I'm, now I'm talking about Joe Biden as the feminine. Listen, see what I see? How funny this gets, <laughs> and and in and also in service to Elizabeth Warren as the feminine <laughs> VP. Okay, <laughs> when the feminine is in charge, this thing about okay, we're hungry. We get in the car. We're hungry. We want to go, uh, we want to eat. Okay. We're going to drive a little bit, says the masculine. Okay, good, good. Keep us on track. At least let's drive two hours or okay. An hour and a half. We're hungry. Okay. Well, let's stop at McDonald's. That'll be quicker and, and, and fast. And the, and the woman's like, no, honey, that's so tacky. Look at that little cafe. It'll be so cute. We could all like have this little experience of, of, of the little cafe. And, and the masculine's like, that's too expensive. That's going to take too long. Uh, uh. But if you go to the cafe, to the rock shop, these things that take, you know, everything off course, you don't even need to get to the beach. See, you're already there. The feminine is in the place where she's already there. It's already happening. You're already connected. You're already whole. You're already one family in a joyful experience. So it's faster than the speed of light because the speed of light still has to get from here to there, whereas the feminine's already there. <laughs> okay, I know that was a little bit of a tangent, but <laughs> that's the way the feminine is. <laughs> the tangent takes you into the territories of the story, <laughs> the story of the hero's adventure through, um, through this, this incredibly, I mean, I, I'm just looking at Biden's face and I'm looking at this beautiful, kind smile and this heart warming heart connection he's having with each person he's talking to and the subtlety of, of every, his experience level and his wisdom and his, ex, 
you know, and I'm thinking about Elizabeth Warren's fiery, passionate um, ideas and convictions and ability to get things done. And I'm thinking, wow, there's mom and dad. <laughs> there's the combination that is going to win in every state because, you know, both of them have actually a, a good appeal to middle of the road people who just want to get us stabilized, you know, because she's, she, come on, she's, she's a down home girl. She, she, and, and she's just really about getting stuff done. And, and he's really unifying. He's unifying and that's the feminine. So I'm voting now for Joe Biden with Elizabeth Warren. And I'm going to be voting for Elizabeth Warren first to make sure she gets in there. And because I think he will actually be getting in there. And actually, I don't know. I might change my mind on that. <laughs> See? Feminine's always changing. Oh, anyway, those two together. That's what I want. And, and then, and then we see, we see a whole new reality coming from us our unified inner masculine feminine we are going to take to the streets we're going to guide those people into what they need to do to address climate change for example and now we've got to talk about the new nuclear um power renaissance through thorium that is what i'm fascinated by can we get to zero emissions as a human species using the technology of nuclear power with thorium, which brings the waste down to almost nothing. And they've already made one, a thorium plant that ran for five years. And uh, it actually thorium, this amount of thorium, it's, it's an abundant mineral all around in every country. You can't have wars over it. This amount of, of it, when you do the nuclear fissure process is enough to power uh, your lifetime of electrical needs for your heat, your car, and everything for your entire lifetime, just this much. What? <laughs> this is actually um, already, it's already science that's been created. So with our green deals, the trouble is with the new green energy, we don't have the batteries yet. It's not, it's technology that doesn't exist, but this thorium nuclear thing exists. Um, and can we get on it? Can we actually do it? Nixon is the one that stopped the project. He, he was like, ah, he wanted to do something else, basically. So he stopped it when it was actually, would have been 50 years ago, we would have been up and running. Woo! <laughs> so exciting. Okay, love, tell me your thoughts. Let's figure this out. Elizabeth and Biden are mom and dad for me. Okay.